Hi folks, I'm back with the continuation of the liquid crystal cell and we're on day three now and here's our our data sheet and plus this on the back and we're now up to uh, I've got 52 uh, cycles on this on this first battery again and believe it or not it's still climbing on the third day and the last peak was at uh, cycle number 50 where it was at 0.932 and 69.5 uh, milliwatts uh, mil or milliamps so we're almost seven times more powerful than we started a few more milliwatts and we'll be there but anyway uh, so we're going to test the test these cells again and on this side I've got the uh, this is cell number two and I've got it rec all the recorded over here and we're at about 19 on that one now and uh, it's it's done really well it's uh, it's been a battle between they're both up uh, pushing uh, 70 milliamps or, so we're just going to test it right there okay 0 0.958 958 and our amps are 3 2 1 60.8 I think let's see what our other one is now and so we're at now 9.6 so we'll just go with that 0.96 and I am sorry 3 2 1 63.2 I think all right, well, we still haven't broke 70 yet, but we'll see what happens. I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and they're both pretty much charged up. So, uh, let's see what we got here. 0.962. All right, we're going to measure it right there, 0.962. Fifty-two or sixty-two, I couldn't tell. Let's check cell number two. And we have 0.961. Almost the same. 0.961. And three. Fifty-four. We're still hanging right in the same area. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back again. And see what we got over here now. All right, you're back on cell number one again. And now we are at 96.2. All right, so we'll measure it right there. And last time we were at 96.2. It's at the same voltage. Alright. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. 50, 66? 56. Damn it, I can't see that one. Alright, let's go on to number 2. Now, and we have... On this one we have... 95.1 and amps are 3, 2, 1, 56. Again, we're both holding in at 60 range. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back for tip. Where our second and first and second cells are. Let's measure it right there. 0.947. Nine four seven. Three, two, one. 
57, 5, I think. So we're, it looks like it's stuck. That's like 18 times in a row it's been in that 60 range. And that was the 55th cycle on this battery here. And this is the 25th cycle on the number 2 battery. 926926 and 321 59 still right there in that 60 range 592 I think all right I thought of a couple different ways you could actually do this experiment you could just measure it at 90% every time and you could cycle it every three minutes or so and that would be a real fast way to run through a whole bunch of cycles you know or you could if you don't want to spend a lot of time watching the meter you could just come back every hour and you'd have and that would give it plenty of time to charge completely up and uh, then you know that your top charge every time and then just measure it once an hour and uh, do other things while you're waiting all right I'll be back all right I'm back again and we are 928 and it was 947 last time so we might as well measure them right where they're at yep 1895 895 and 3 2 1 58 real consistent they're always hanging right there let's see what number one is be 26, no, uh, 56 this time, cycle, and we're at 0.3, we're at 0.933, we'll call it 933, all right, 3, 2, 1, shit, 63, all right, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Let's see what this one is. So let's just measure that. 0 0.903. And the amps are 3, 2, 1, 55. Let's see what number 2 is. Not even up there. I think these are drying out. But anyway, 0 0.873. Are three, two, one, fifty-nine. They're consistent as hell. All right, I'll be back. All right, and I'm back and it's ready to measure these uh, one and two again. And we have point nine four three. So the voltage is climbing back up on that point nine four three. And we have three, two, one, sixty-three, eight. I think. All right. Now let's see what number two is behind door number two. We have point nine oh four. Uh, 54. Alright. Now this one here, this last cell I made, the first measure was 19.6. Uh, the second one I did, I went and med measured off camera and it went to 28.2 at uh, 0.88. So let's see what this one is. I'm kind of anxious to see how well this does. But it looks like curing those, uh, curing that membrane is going to help it a lot. We'll call it 873. 873 and 3, 2, 1, 31. Went up again. 
31 2 maybe 31 something 31 something and uh, 8 7 2 all right that's doing pretty good all right I'll be back all right I'm back and we're charged up again here on cell number three and we're at 875 875 and 3, 2, 1, 26. Uh, you can see from this one that this is going to climb faster than these. I'm guessing that it's the uh, the gel structure in this, letting it cure, uh, crystal structure form in that, and then do it. We'll get a better result. So I'll build that kind right there except let the electrodes uh, cure out a day or so before I put them together and then we'll run the thing again on the on these test results we're up to like uh, almost 60 I think on on this on this one right here and I it finally I think went dry I'll chart all this out I'll have to tape a piece of um, graph paper up here because it's way off the scale right here now but anyway I'll graph that out I think the thicker one uh, dried out faster so when I rebuild this I'm going to stick it in this little plastic bag right here and then uh, I'll that'll seal it uh, seal the water into it and uh, so keep it from drying out and that should extend these things for uh, quite, a, quite a ways longer and then we'll see what we get I'm betting we get a lot better sale out of it alright so uh, looks like it's the testing and uh, research update will be next and then I'll come back uh, after that with with the cell rebuilt that's cured for a while. Alright, thanks for watching. Well, I'm back with the chart here and uh, this is today's uh, data right here. There were 62 uh, cycles altogether and you can see today's varies uh, from yesterday's was a really a steep climb today it just kind of peaked up each time a little bit higher it's amazing it made it 62 cycles uh, three days the cell did actually hit uh, 70 uh, milliwatts today right here uh, at the end Six, 68.5 uh, milliamps uh, but the volts were a little over 1 volt uh, 1.028 or something that and that just pushed it over the 70 uh, milliwatt uh, setting so and we started at just over 10 so we got about a 7 to 1 uh, improvement in, in power over a three day period and it probably would have gone higher than that if we would served the water in the cell that's what I'm guessing anyway so uh, but we'll find that out in the near future alright I'll see you next time